Chase Oliver, the US Libertarian Party's candidate, says, I reject Ron Paul and I am sorry, not sorry about it. There is... Uh, pe- okay, no, hold on in. People can not like Trump. That's okay. But mm-hmm. no self-respecting American should not like Ron Paul. I don't know how you can. He, I don't know how you he's can. so wholesome. He's so based. Like, I, unless, you're, unless you're a communist, how can you dislike Ron Paul? I Indeed. even, I, I, you know what? I guess I bet if I ask my communist friend if he likes Ron Paul, even he'd say he likes Ron Paul. <laughs> Your like, communist friend it, is it, not the most unreasonable of communists, though. Dude, way to sink yourself. Absolutely. I, I, I almost feel like, uh, let, let me indulge for a second in mastermind theory. I almost feel like the Libertarian Party were pushed by Trump favored people to pick someone utterly unelectable <laughs> so that Trump would get more votes. I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's it's the Libertarian versus the Libertarian. You, I mean, you, Maybe, you have yeah. to understand the difference is that there's the Libertarian who actually believes in liberty and freedom. And there's the Libertarian who's like, I just want a goon. <laughs> and they elected the gooner. There's another, uh, another, another Gen Z the uh, phrase that you've uh, adopted. Oh yeah, sorry. You're, they, you're they English now. You have gooner. to say wank, Aiden. They they chose the the, the yeah. How about that? <laughs> they they the, the porn Arr. addict. And because mm-hmm. and it's it's so infuriating to me as someone who's been a lifelong libertarian. You're like this is why I hate you. This is why I hate you guys. Not mm-hmm. you individually, and but this is why I hate you. I hate libertarians. Because you always pick the gooner. You always do. You keep, you pick Gary Johnson. You mm. always pick the gooner. Because you'd rather but, have your weed and your porn than actual liberty. Just, no oh, matter, it's infuriating. No matter what people think of Trump, Trump is a libertarian. Mm-hmm. And so what look at the Libertarian Party going to do? Trump's the most popular president in US history. They're and the pointless. Libertarian Party's sitting there with nothing, no viable options, so they swing wildly in a different direction because they're also possessed. They swing, no, well, they are swinging, clearly. Uh, but <laughs> they, they, Just like someone else just, we could name. Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> just, they always, this is why I hate, again, it's why I despise them. Mm. They always try to move towards the degeneracy. Okay, And Aiden, it's like, no, you got to move towards the liberty. I have something yeah. for you. No, I agree. Mm-hmm. I, I, I thought about that actually. The whole like low standards versus low restrictions thing and being completely yes, different. Yes. But um, yes. uh, here I put this to you, right? An argument against mastermind theory. If the Libertarian Party is possessed by the establishment, one way or the other, why didn't they put forward as a candidate Ron Paul? That would take a large chunk of Trump's votes because people, Trump voters like Ron uh, Paul because Ron, Ron Paul, Paul or won't someone, do it. maybe, but. It, maybe no, no, if the no, Libertarian he, no, Party he had like he aimed for years to make themselves the party Ron Paul would want to join and then put that forward to compete with Trump, that would be a perfect strategy of our opponent. It might actually cause Trump to lose legitimately because people like Ron Paul, but they didn't do because, that. Because Ron Paul is actually intelligent, and I'll tell you why. One, or he's him old. Or he, someone just even just, just less shit than what they chose. If they would picked uh, someone that's just not insane, they could have taken some of Trump's votes. That would have been better for them. But instead they did this, which is to suicide. Uh, b- libertarianism is, is a suicidal ideology. And, I, and I'm saying that as a libertarian. We, we've got to abandon libertarianism. I it, don't it is think a totally it is inherent, suicidal right? ideology. Well, okay. I don't think it is inherent. You're right. Not inherently. However, the way that it manifests itself is in the most degenerate, insane lunacy and I'm saying this as a, I have been a libertarian since I was 16 years old. For So for 20 nearly goddamn mm. years, I've been a libertarian. And I, I have watched I'm, them do nothing but destroy themselves at mm. every single opportunity I think, for 20 um, years. Left libertarianism is too impragmatic in that it, it does exist. not take into account tradition. No, no, I think that's the problem. Left libertarianism is 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 is... is too non-pragmatic in that it doesn't take into account uh, is uh, left high standards never and long-term to uh, traditions. However, right libertarianism is too impragmatic in that it doesn't take into account um, the reality of empathy, the reality of the unintelligence and the disregard for um, uh, taking uh, serious individualist actions that the vast majority of people have, the need for collectives. Both forms of libertarianism are too impractical, which is why I'm not, I don't really call myself a libertarianism. I have a lot of libertarian beliefs, 
But I would be closer to the midline in libertarian authoritarian because I recognize the need for both. Um, but left libertarianism is kind of what look, TJ is. Uh, the Amazing Atheist. Even if you can oh, argue it's a contradiction in terms, commies, okay, I guess. which I think you could uh, that, that, argue that's it's a contradiction kind of... in terms. I, I think you could argue it's a contradiction it, it is, in terms. It is contradictory. It, they, they, they are not, you, you inherently can cannot be a, a communist. Which matches that term. Well, you can construct a worldview where you think that the moon is made of cheese. It doesn't mean that yeah, it's, it's a exactly. sensible but worldview. This, this is what I mean. Uh, what they've just done is they've elected a left libertarian. Again, whether you think that term yeah. should be real or not, it does refer to some people. Whether it, whether it you know is the best term for it or not, it, it, and well, yeah, they are libertarian it, at least these days in the sense of we want to be free from standards. Now we're not even talking about legal standards. We just want to be we want to be free to to jack off all day. We want to be free to to do marrow. We want to be free to be adulterous and yeah, again. okay. Yeah, again, it's 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 about yes, a sort of love of freedom, but really it's a lust for uh indiscretion, a lust for indignity. It's just differently worded. And you that's why you can be careful with people that say freedom is good, because a lust for indignity could Liberty also be is called good. freedom. Freedom is not good. They mean literally freedom the same is- thing. No, they do not. <laughs> but I know what you mean. Free- no, they do not. Uh, oh my God! Uh, uh, freedom and liberty are different terms. So, free- freedom is is freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. Liberty is is positive or negative, and it's what you are allowed to do under a societal a bunch of series of societal rules. Um, liberty, I think, is good. Freedom is not good because freedom it's, means um, freedom to do anything. I, and what, what I mean is, that it, is is pure freedom unrestrained. I, I, freedom, I when it is restrained, is liberty, right? I, I think they're the same thing. I think what you're referring to no, there no, is what no. I mean about um, about the, the people that you got to read. Eric von could not lead, and he explains well, I, it very I'm, well. I'm, sh- I'm sure he has great views, but I'm not he standing sure on does. his books. I'm standing on my own opinions. Um, the two terms are, I believe, freedom is just the Germanic root, which would be equivalent well, I, in meaning I, I, to I liberty I, I anyway. I liberty no, being I I uh, probably I, the Latin root. Either way, they I'm are the same. The they have the same meaning literally, no. but no, in practice. They do not. I think I think they do, but in practice, what you could slightly. take it to mean. Okay, listen carefully. Literally, okay. <laughs> I think they have the same meaning in how they're used in in in, in philosophically, in politically. They may have many okay. different connotations. Oh, okay, 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 okay. May even have different yeah, sure. definitions, but literally, sure. they are the same. So that's what I'm saying. You don't have to think of them as different. However, they may be useful for differentiating something, but it's something I was just talking about. It's again about the people that uh, believe that uh, freedom or liberty means freedom or liberty from standards, from high standards. And that in fact, it's a lust for indignity. It's a lust to be able to do things without being told that's shameful. But there are also another side of people, the other side of libertarianism, the smarter ones, who recognize that it's more about um, the collective should not be able to tell me I can't do this. They recognize that a collective it should exist, except the most ardent, the anarcho libertarians. They recognize a collective of some kind should exist, but they want to limit what the collective can tell them not to do. Not so that they can be indignified, but because it's better for society. It's not for their own benefit, it's actually for society's benefit, though it is also for their own benefit. Um, but it's not for their own short term or indulgent benefit. It, it's also for long term. The, the problem is that the number of libertarians, whether they be left or right, and I, again, I don't think left libertarianism even is a thing. Uh, I think it's a contradiction of terms. Is that you always end up finding with these people who are political figures is that they just want a goon. That's all they care about. They just care about their weird sexual proclivities or their drug proclivities, and that makes them unelectable. This is not a, you cannot run on the, Look, yes, you will win with some people absolutely on my, I would like to be able to uh, do drugs and, and prostitutes uh, paradigm. Mm. But the vast majority of people, left and right, by the way, will not vote for that. Because it's, they, everybody knows that it's not beneficial to society to mm. legalize cocaine. Well, it's not even about legalizing uh, necessarily, because here's what you could I do. I would say it's okay to legalize cocaine okay. under my weird libertarian brain that still exists <laughs> well, inside of my head. Here's what you need to do. Liberalism, in my opinion, um, uh, manifestly requires a, a very strong border. Most ideologies, in fact, do. But liberalism sh- 
should involve a very strong border, very strong uh, immigration controls. Because yes. the one thing that could, liberalism, capitalism, democracy, taken as a group, the one mm -hmm. thing that can undo them is replacing the population with people that don't want the country to succeed, which is what's happening, uh, sure. funnily enough. Similarly, uh, libertarianism... Yeah, well, in, the, in the UK, way worse than the US, but yes. Yes. Similarly, libertarianism, I think, um, manifestly requires a culture of shame where, yes, mm -hmm. you're free to do that, but socially you'll be shamed for it. And, and, and that usually, what, is what, what these the quote-unquote libertarians want to remove. They want to remove the shame from culture. They don't care if the collective wants them to do something or not. They don't care if the collective has the power. They care that people that like tradition are shaming them for doing things that are deeply unhelpful for both themselves and for culture as a whole. Yes. That is I not what the term libertarianism is ideally used for. That is just exactly. a loss for degeneracy under the label of freedom. Exactly. That's the problem, though. But I would say, I would ask the question, what does then, and I think you know the answer, I know you know the answer, prevent people from doing things if it were legal to to do all the drugs, to do all of the sex acts that you want? What would prevent people from doing so if it were legal? Because by the way, under my cucked, my, my, my brain dead libertarian mind, and I do mm. still have this stuff, I think maybe it should be legal to do all the drugs I'm open and do to all that. the sex. I'm open to that. So three, what, three good but, responses to you on that one. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. One is shame from their peers, which won't apply to yes. everyone, but will apply to many, mm -hmm. and that'll be a big factor. Um, the second one is the potential for punishment. If you have a healthy legal system, then doing drugs, for example, is more likely to lead to crimes than not doing drugs, usually, yeah. Yeah. Um, and more likely to lead to, um, you know, and the, the, well, the third one is a, if you have a healthy economy, then it's easy for them to be successful anyway without needing to use drugs to escape from reality. And if they're successful, oh, well, they're too man. busy being successful than, than you, the, 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 to, to, to use drugs. There are some drugs which successful people use, I agree. But still, there are many others that people use to escape reality because they're not successful. That There's would be, a fourth one, though. Would be, would be cut out quite a lot by a healthy economy. Go ahead, there may be more. There's probably plenty more. God. God is going to be the, the major contributing factor in this. be a factor, yeah. That could be a fact. I, I think absolutely. I think Christianity would absolutely like, and, and that's why, you know, from my, again, like, I can't abandon libertarianism no matter how much I want to. I just, I just can't. It's, it's too caked into my sense of self, I think. So even though I'm a monarchist, I still have to continue to be a libertarian. And I think that, um, yeah, a, a belief in God is very important to that. Sure. So, so you don't go do insane shit, mm. you know? And, I mean, and uh, libertarians will always. To to Cockcorn in chat, I wasn't saying the government should be the one shaming. No, uh, that's very mm -hmm. much the opposite of what I'm saying. The government should not the, be making the, the such community. restrictions against, yeah, People. against individuals. Peers should be shaming. Yes, yes. And part of the reason I mean, we bully so much in Cabal. You, you, it, by the way, bring back bullying, because bullying works. And I truly do believe that you got to bully people when they're at... And Nick Mercator should have been bullied. We all mm -hmm. f***ed up as his friends by not bullying him more. Now, it's mm -hmm. not our fault, but we should have bullied him more. For what he was doing, all I'm saying.